Okay, let's do this. Sure, let's go. Nga! Quit screwing around and start! Make sure you and my cousin are okay with driving and supervising. Oh, oh yeah. yeah! That's interesting. Mm -hmm. You guys must have a lot of time on your hands. <laughs> Sorry if we're taking you away from your day off. Oh, no. It's totally cool. <laughs> Narumi-san, is it true you're a police officer in the Traffic Safety Division? That's right. I'm the expert when it comes to traffic laws. He passed me. Huh? Damn him! Hey, wait! You're supposed to be a cop! She goes nuts when she's behind the wheel. She's out of control. And we just sacrificed Kagami and Tsukasa to her. Oh, come on now. She's a police officer, right? Hmm? Hey, that's weird. They were there a second ago. <laughs> no, teacher, you're going down the wrong street! It says one light! Look! <laughs> I can't believe I got it wrong both times! Curses! Who's driving it? That breaking drift on the turn was awesome! It's gaining on the FD! It's got some serious pickup! He missed the rail by like that much! A good point of attack would be on the five hairpin curves that are coming up. It's speeding up! Did the brakes die? Nanako-san, you're a good driver. A really good driver. Huh? You think? It's funny, but I always get motion sickness when riding in cars. Today I brought along some medicine that would keep me from getting sick. But you see, Nanako-san, because you're such a skilled driver, I didn't get sick at all! Huh? Ugh! What am I doing talking to you? We gotta get out of here! should find a hotel. Wow! It's so sunny outside, it's perfect for swimming. I swear, yesterday I didn't think we'd ever get here alive. I'm gonna put my swimsuit on and wear it down to the beach. Sometimes you can be so childish, Kona. Ah! No way! You can't be serious! Hey, aren't you a little old to be wearing your school swimsuit in public? Not if you're catering to special interests, Kagamine. Whoa! How old is that thing? 
Hey, do you really need one of those tubes? I mean, you're so athletic and I know you can swim. Just because I know how to swim doesn't mean I have to jump in and start swimming marathons. There's a thing called leisure, you know. Sweet leisure. Since I'm trying to meet the needs of folks with special interests, I'm using this thing because it completes the outfit. I don't think anyone with special interests would go to the beach. <laughs> hmm. You always see people splitting watermelons in manga and anime, but it never happens in real life. No, I've seen that happen before. Maybe people think it's a waste of food. You got a point. Because when you blow up watermelons with a shotgun, you get pieces of watermelon all over you. You watch too much anime. Miyuki-san, you're rich. Have you ever split watermelons? I can't say I've ever done that. Hmm, on second thought, I guess I can't really picture rich people doing that kind of stuff. Yeah, I guess you're right. Oh. Uh, hmm. <laughs> hmm. That figures nothing happens in real life the way it does in manga. I'm so sorry I disappointed you. So it's like, you know, whatever. Man, it's so sad. Here we are at the beach and we have to babysit. We're a couple of lonely single ladies. You got it all wrong. Oh, yeah, I'm you not... could compromise and lug something like that around. But that's no fun. Give me a bunch of girls and I'm a happy camper, you know. But I'm oh, not... I hear more and more folks are getting married later in life. Guess you and I've got all the time in the world, know what I'm saying? You got it wrong. The only reason I'm here is because my husband and me have a commuter marriage. I'm married. Married! <sighs> if the beach is a mecca for picking up girls, how come no one's picking us up? It's better this way, because no one's bothering us. Besides, with you and your outfit, the guys probably think we're sisters on vacation with the parents. <laughs> What's wrong? Um, you know, doesn't it feel kind of gross to sit down when you're all sopping wet? I know how you feel. Maybe you should get into an air chair pose. She doesn't need a workout. <laughs> What's wrong? My neck's tired. I see. Yes, I totally knew it! What are you getting so excited about? We've just been served food that's the epitome of the beach house experience. Check it out, running curry! That's what I'm talking about. You're right. Isn't it weird how the things you'd never eat in everyday life become amazingly delicious when you eat them in a place like this? Mm, 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 mm. Woo-ha! Chugging beers at the beach is awesome! Who cares if it's lukewarm? This stuff's the best! Yeah, but they're kind of pushing it when they charge you 300 yen for a lousy hot dog. Yeah, right? And the thing's almost raw, but who cares? You still eat it anyway. I kind of like how when you order the fried chicken and you get it, it's always really greasy and it's got way too many spices. The plain fried noodles also seem to be much more delicious here. Yeah, yeah but when you take it back home, it's like the worst thing down the line. Yeah, but it's a part of the experience. Hey. Does the food here really deserve all the hype? Uh-huh. But it's not as cool as running down the beach in a loincloth. That's supposed to be another anime reference. I'm so hammered. Looks like we're spending another night here. Is that okay, Yui san I've got another day of vacation. It's cool, I'm fine. The water's really cold. Oh, come on, ma'am. It can't be that cold. You're just exaggerating. <laughs> Lucky star. so squeaky after you've been swimming in the ocean. Well, maybe it's got something to do with all the salt in the water. Right, Miyuki? That's true. It's mostly caused by the salt and also by the ultraviolet rays from the sun. But is that really such a bad thing? Your hair's always exposed to UV rays anyway. That's also true, but do you really want me to explain it? Because I'm afraid it's quite involved and lengthy. Mm-hmm. All right. Ahem. The 
reason your hair becomes damaged at the beach is due to exposure to UV rays as well as salt and seawater and ocean breezes. When exposed to these elements, your hair loses moisture. Furthermore, if you sunbathe under strong UV rays, the melanin in your hair begins to change, causing your hair to lighten. Now, if salt or impurities such as chlorine from swimming pools remain in your hair for any length of time, it causes your hair to turn brittle. UV rays and impurities are the main cause of follicular damage during the summer season. However, the factors I've mentioned also cause significant damage to the hair's cuticles. So when exposed to strong UV rays, the cysteine bonds that preserve your hair's strength become... Hey guys, look it! Timote. 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 What the? <sighs> Sometimes I wonder how the other folks see us, when they see us. I don't know. Another short conversation. I guess they'd probably think we look like family or something like that. Yeah, I guess. That's all you've got to say? yui ne -san, look! Timote! 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 No way! I used to do that too! Vision! That's just the reaction I was looking for! How old are you, kid? Mm. Mandan. Enough with the bad puns, Gramps. What's wrong, Kuna-chan? Looks like I just triggered a flag. What are you talking about? An event scene's gonna happen. Remember, if you want to see all your choices at the end, save often! I'm going in, girls! Picture's complete. That's perfect. Bring it! I have no idea. You're such a geek. No wonder today was so totally boring. What do you mean? Did any guys hit on us today? <laughs> well, it's not like I... You're the one who brought it up. I wasn't obsessing about it or anything. I was just saying. That's why I brought oh, it up. Oh, now I get it. You wanted someone to hit on you. <laughs> N no, that's not yeah! it. Oh! oh, no. I missed it. Uh, what is it? Oh, nothing. I was just wondering what you did with unwanted hair. Well, I'm kind of smooth all over, so I don't really do anything. What do you do? Uh, who, me? I guess I'm kind of normal. Hmm. Mm. Actually, today was kind of risky for me, if you know what I mean. No, I don't. It was almost time for my... <gasps> you know what to happen. <laughs> oh, I get it. But it didn't, so that's good. Were you okay with yours today? Mm -hmm. It missed me. Mine ended just last week, so I guess you could say it was perfect timing. It's such a hassle when you want to go to the beach. Yeah, I know. It sucks when you can't go in the water because of it, but you could always use one of those thingies. Yeah, right, but you still worry about it. I've never used one of those things. <laughs> ah! Someone's having a blunt conversation. What if we are? It's not like you never... Oh. You're kidding! What are you looking at? Oh, nothing. The story I'm about to tell you really happened. A man who worked for a video software wholesaler left work one night as he usually did. It was especially dark that night as he got on the bus to go home. This man lived on the edge of town near where the bus route ended. One by one, the passengers were dropped off, but the man, he was alone, riding through the inky blackness on this especially dark night. The bus was so empty and so quiet now, the driver thought he was alone, but he wasn't. And then... He said Don Zen Futariwa, you're in a really loud voice! <laughs> Anyhow, that's the way I heard it. Isn't that a scary story? 
Yeah, actually it was. I'm so kecky <laughs> To Casa, go to sleep already. Hey, let's bail. Oh, okay. Taking another step on the path toward womanhood, Kagami. Huh? Man, this year's comp fest is gonna be huge. The Japanese are suckers for limited edition stuff. If labeling stuff as limited edition is enough to boost sales, they should slap it on everything. Well, if they did that, it wouldn't be limited, would it? So we asked around. And the truth is that if you drink three Don't forget, girls, make sure to clean up your we'll rooms before your vacation horribly. ends. It's my old junior high textbooks. Hey, sis, look, check out this old photo album. Look at this weird picture of Dad. Yeah, when I saw that, it made me wonder about this thing. <laughs> you guys look like you're having fun. How's the cleaning going? Uh, let's see. Hey, do you want these clothes? Uh, oh, yeah, sure, I'll take them. Okay, I'll leave them here. Mm, thanks, sis. Hey, you want this? Mm -hmm. Sure, if you don't want it. How about this? Uh, and this? Uh, wait! Is she using me as her trash bin or something? You always end up flipping through old photo albums instead. Yeah, I know, I know. When I find an old magazine, I can't help but read it. That's just what I mean. Hey, where's Sukasa? Oh, you know my sister. She has a hard time throwing anything away. She's still cleaning. Yeah, she seems like the type who totally keeps everything. Although you seem to be the type that throws everything away. You know, this negative image you have of me is really starting to piss me off, girl. Wow, you kept all of your junior high textbooks? What, you mean you didn't keep yours? Oh no, I left all of that stuff behind along with my memories. No, take them home. You're causing trouble for the school. At last, I finished my cleaning. Even though there's stuff I know I'll never use again, I remembered the times I did, so now I can't throw them out. Well, that's just the way some people are. They want to keep everything. You're that type of person, Tsukasa. You seem to be the type mm -hmm. who toss stuff that could be useful. I mean, you still leave all your textbooks behind. <laughs> Miyuki, you know you really should go and get your teeth checked before school starts up again. I know that I should, it's just that I don't think that I could. Well, if that's the case, I'd feel really bad making you head all the way down there. If you can't go to the dentist, we'll just have the dentist come here. No, oh, please, wait a minute! Lucky Star. Lucky Shadow! Hi, Luckies! Time for the sixth episode of Lucky Shadow! Can you guys believe it? I am Akira Kogami, and I hope you guys are getting used to this segment, because I sure am! That's lit! Did you say something? Oh well, looks like my assistant Minoru Shiraishi still isn't used to this. He must be nervous because all the people are watching. I'd really like it if he'd get used to his job, especially when he's talking to his superiors. I mean, how many times does a girl have to remind him before he gets it, you know? It's irritating! Anyway, on today's episode, we're going to introduce you to a key character in Lucky Star. It's Konata! <laughs> Shut up, you pussy! Why me? I didn't ask for this! Miss Konata Izumi is 17. She likes games, anime, and manga. Yes, and according to our sources, she's always watching the new shows and reading the latest manga. On weekends, she spends her time gaming online till dawn. So you're saying she's an otaku? Well, 
Yeah, I guess she is. Hmm. Hurry, do something! Y you know those crazy otaku? They never leave the house! They're always crying while watching the Dog of Flanders and stuff. Huh? <gasps> How dated is your idea of an otaku anyway? You do your homework or what? Can you handle your job, guy, or what? Well, um... Well, it's true that both the Dog of Flanders and cute Moe characters both have a healing effect, you know? But girls like me are way better than some mangy dog. These days, the public really wants to see cute, innocent girls, right? When I look to the right, they look to the right! If I look left, they look left! They wait in line all night before a concert and they don't take a bath! They stink so bad it makes your eyes water and yet they still want to see me! That's what drives them, standing like cattle in the heat, burning under the damn sun, waiting for me! Me! Waiting until the bandanas around their heads get so sweaty and it's all for me! <sighs> but in the end, I guess they are the customers, though. Even if they insist on telling me their life story at a handshake session. And even if they do make a few off-topic comments, you sympathize with them, you know? Cause in the end, the only reason I'm here is cause of folks like that. I gotta do my best up here cause those people are my fans, you know? Is that what it's really like for you? Oh, you'll find out real soon. Being an idol's the hardest thing you'll ever do. Oh yeah, once you've been through the best and the worst, you'll see what it's all about. Some client or fan you hate comes up to you and you gotta smile. Oh, that was fun! Okay, did everybody get a good idea about who Konata-san is? Yeah? Good, then I'll see you again in the next episode! Bye, me! Uh, <sighs> actually, today's show was more about otakus than Konata-san. <sighs> uh, are you okay? You do it. Huh? Oh, sure! At that moment, the reporter saw... Now that's lame. Yeah! That was awesome! Kage rules! Okay, calm down. So, Tsukasa, did you pick a song? Yep, I did. I can't wait to hear you sing Tsukasa's song. <laughs> I hope I can sing it good. Hey, Miyuki, what are you gonna sing? Oh, I don't know that many songs. <laughs> it's a little embarrassing. Ooh, that's what she picked, huh? Go for it, Tsukasa-san. On the next episode of Lucky Star. Kagami here. You know how when you've got a hangnail and it's just wiggling around, you want to pull it out, but you think it's going to hurt, so you don't, but then you do, and it comes out and it's bigger than you thought, and it hurts. Then there's scabs. You try to time it so it doesn't hurt when you peel it off, but then it starts getting itchy, and you think, sure, that sucker's ready to rip. Let's do this. So you go slow, peeling from the sides first, and then you just rip through the center, and you end up bleeding anyway. And then you're like, that's going to leave a scar. Next time, image. Look forward to it. <laughs>